You caught me. Good evening and welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. Um, I'm just going to say this right off the bat. We're taping this show a little early because I have a really special guest for you tonight. And um, I don't have a concert calendar, but I do have some news to tell you about, which I'll get to in the middle of the show. But tonight we have here, live from Washington, D.C., the incredible, the world-renowned, the absolutely adorable Da Fiddler. AKA Ray Kurt Johnson is here from Washington, D.C. to bring us some classical music on his violin. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. In the middle of the show, we're going to play some of his video for you, tell you where to find him. Um, and then we're going to have a little talk with him, and that's going to be great. But now it's really all about him. So let me turn the camera and the sound over to Ray Kurt, Da Fiddler.
You like one more? Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, from uh, the many choices of music we have uh, when I'm out playing uh, um, in public spaces areas in Washington, D.C., um, well, many things come to mind, and uh, that's why I just improvise most of the classics. And well, if I had accompaniment, then I would play them more uh, as they were written. But uh, that's the spontaneity. Um, let's see.
Now with ability to bring this prophecy My third eye is open, final cause and Bible's calling me I think it praise a lot, Jehovah Witness walking streets Christian hoping Jesus coming, Muslims praying to the east Still I'm pistol packing, Bible packing, moving with the lawn Logan's like a sniper, but do nobody harm Spiritually minded Mother's nature's not the word to say 
living in London, I wonder what sun lies the people who days me good. Give it a spiritual mind. To bring this prophecy, give it a spiritual mind. To bring this prophecy, give it a spiritual mind. To bring this prophecy, give it a spiritual mind. To bring this prophecy, spiritually minded. Hey, hey, when we the way, everybody knows we're all the same. When, when, when we the way, how do the people who save the day? So that was the Awakening um, recorded, videotaped, put together, produced by Ray Kurt Johnson. And now he's going to introduce his next video. Yes. Uh, well, let's make Mama proud. Um, all this is a culmination of uh, the music, the artistry, creativity comes from my mother which comes from her mother, Grandma Alice, which comes from the Lord. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, that's the greatest inspiration that will carry me forever. Yeah. yeah. We loved your mom. So make Mama proud. And um, I think there's some people that we know that are starring in that. Yes, indeed. Um, Sean Ames is one of the stars of this video, and um, it's pretty good. Watching this kid perform is pretty amazing, so maybe he has a future in acting. I don't know. Yeah, this is something that I would like to make all the In this life, you only get one mama. I took mine through all types of drama. I remember those days when I was a boy. Chasing them girls and playing with them toys. Mama did the best she could. Raised her son up in the hood. God reached me, teach me. But I didn't make that easy. I trip act out so off the bread. In that ghetto mind I was in. Everything she told me back then, now I realize it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Everything the mom was good for, trying to cause the pain, the stress, the strain, the bills, the bills, the deals, the games, the men, the women, the sheep, the lies, the wolves, the dress, the sheep, the skies, our eyes, time like diamonds, I love my mama and always try to do the things that make mama proud, do the things that make mama proud, do the things that make mama proud, do the things that make mama proud. It's like you only get one mama. I took mine through all types of drama. Remember those days when I was a boy, chasing those girls and playing with them toys. Mama did the best that she could Raised her son up in the hood She gotta reach me, teach me But I didn't take that easy I should act out to all friends In that ghetto mind I was in But everything that she told me back then Now I realize that he can I love that song. Oh my goodness. Riker, I can't believe you put that much emotion so quickly after losing your mom into such an amazing song. Um, and 
not of the classical genre either so yeah what do we have so, coming up next we've got one more video to share don't we yes we do uh, uh it's tra traveling by soul it's called um but in, in actuality i'm borrowing that name because there's a song that's on another cd that's traveling by soul um and uh it, it, it's a totally different song, but I'm borrowing this title because this is uh, a video of my adventures or travels, you know, um, in Europe. Well, I lived in Germany for right. about 11 years or so. Right. We'll talk about that when we come back sure. from the video. <laughs> Side. They said this party's live. 
The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. The feeling lingers, they said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. They said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. The feeling lingers, they said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. They said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. The feeling lingers. They said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. They said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. The feeling lingers. They said this party's live. The feeling lingers on and on the sunny side. They said this. We're back. So we're here with my good friend, Ray Kurt Johnson, um, AKA De Fiddler, and he is here from Washington, D.C. visiting. And uh, Ray, we have so much to talk about. Your, your inspiration starts with your mom. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, your mother was an incredible woman. The funniest story about her is the one when she got arrested. You want to just improvise on that just a little bit? Oh, yeah. Well, she and her colleagues were uh, in Washington, D.C., our uh, nation's capital, uh, was the representation, with, a taxation without, without representation. representation and stuff. So she's been fighting. She's one of those stalwart people that are uh, uh, for statehood. And she would take her uh, church lady friends and round them up and some radio people and go down and protest at the Capitol. And I have pictures of her arm in arm with all kinds of people standing there. And, and they did get arrested, you know, peaceably, you know. But uh, that's what I would amaze me about her is that she had things to say and she would stand for it. Yeah. And so that's something that I've learned or, you know, that's a part of my being you yeah know. standing for what you believe in and yeah. she definitely did that yeah so you grew up knowing music what was the first instrument that you played well uh i was introduced to the piano we, we uh went to a we were lucky enough to go to a, a private school but it was like for discipline you know a military, <laughs> a military school i can't imagine you needing discipline yeah oh yeah at that time <laughs> <laughs> so then yeah they had um it was a catholic school and uh they had military uh, marine sergeants retired and teaching drills and then but sister mary david um beautiful uh, Italian face. She sat me down at the piano, and in a week I was playing Mozart. See? And so, but my mother always wanted me to sing. She says, I gave you that voice, you're gonna use it. I would sing, I enjoyed it, and, but it did get me a full scholarship at Eastman School of Music. Right. In which, um, Where did you go school. before Eastman? In Washington, D.C., we have a art school, uh, Duke Ellington, School of the Performing Arts. Weren't you with the first class there? Yes, when yeah. it first opened up. Yeah, and so that's pretty That's pretty special. Yes, yes. And, uh, what brought you from voice and piano to this amazing instrument? Well, um, enjoying the music. Um, we, after living in Washington, D.C., proper, the city, then we moved to Maryland where my mother worked out in the suburbs. Um, mm -hmm. And so... Uh, the high school, they had violins and violas laying around. And I said, oh, well, can I play violin? And they said, no, well, we have a viola. You can take the viola. So I took the viola home, and I would just play with the Beethoven records. And that's how I just, like, with my ear and just start playing. And, yeah, Beethoven, that's the... Yeah, well, and you love Beethoven. Bach, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have that. Beethoven, Bach. Yeah. But the thing that I heard you playing... Before we even met, I'm walking down Capitol Hill. I had taken my family there on vacation, and I hear this wafting of violin music coming up 
I wasn't sure where from yet, but I looked at my family and I said, I have to find that music. <laughs> and I went chasing after it, and I'm riding down the escalator into the subway, and I'm hearing the sound of Vivaldi sending shivers up my spine and just making me, uh, uh, oh. So I'm riding down the escalator, and this gentleman is down there playing, and he sees coming at him this big woman with her jaw like this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole length of the el escalator and I get down to him and I said I have to have that music <laughs> yes. and at the time um, it was kind of providential because he was couch surfing which is what he calls yeah well he was couch surfing right. and I took his music home and I put it on the radio and the next thing you know he was involved with the New York Underground so yeah. take the story from there yes well, yes, I've always participated in uh, uh, the uh, music under New York program, mm -hmm. and playing in the subways. Um, when I lived there in the 80s, um, I had a string quartet that we were called the Bridge Tower Street, uh, Trio and a string quartet, and we freelanced, and, but we did our own, and we got around, we played for Mayor Koch, and we, United Nations, and dignitaries, and yeah. Those are the wonder years. <laughs> yeah, the wonder years. But you've played all over the world. That's the, I don't know, the blessing, I mean, just what music does. Um, it's a worldwide event, you right. know, and I, I love people. I like people. Um, I go, I seek it. I have no problem, uh, you know, speaking with people, and, and, the, and music is the communicator. It really is. It's, yeah. The window to the soul. Yes. Now, where if you could be anywhere in the world right now, besides with me, because I know this is your preference. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> but if you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would you be? Ooh. Oh. 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 I don't know. I'm thinking Germany. Isn't that no. one of your favorite destinations? Yes. Uh, yes. Well, because, you know, well, the music, the culture, um, the, yeah, it's a conglomerate of the world. I mean, it's an ancient place, or, you know, it's, it's a old place, and you have people in steadfast culture. They know how to live. Also in Europe, you know, and America's wonderful, too. I mean, Washington, D.C. is tough. Yes. I love Washington, I mean, D.C. Right don't, don't talk back about my city. Okay. I love that city. <laughs> Come on down there and talk to your constituents. We're going to turn New London into a Washington, D.C. Oh. Without the government. Oh, okay. We're going to do the, the arts, the, the, sure. the classical stuff, the, world the class. galleries. Yeah. yeah, and get this to be a um, world destination. And you're going to yeah. help me do that. I, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed myself here. Yeah, doing it's great. Um, then you started writing your own music. Well, yeah. Well, it's writing. It's uh, improvisation. I mean, I hear music, uh, whether it's the classics or new, and growing up in Washington D.C., rhythm, soul, go go, <laughs> beat beat beat. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dance, dance, dance. Yeah. I'm a dancer too. I love to dance. I know um, you do. Oh, yeah. Got to move. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. Um, you just put out a CD called Lucy Goosey. Yes, Loose Goose. Loose Goose. It actually made the zone reporting um, list. Wow. So, yeah. So that's good stuff. That's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, it's, it's funny that I don't, I don't would know how to categorize the music no because one day i'm feeling classic the next day i'm feeling jazz the next day i'm feeling i'm i like hip-hop that right. has a message a positive yeah. message yeah. or you know uh there's so many music you know i even like polka i do too <laughs> there's nothing wrong with polka I like that. that's good stuff <laughs> um what drives you to um write music oh so many things. Uh, it, it, um, for instance, I was playing the other day, and this young girl comes up to me. Um, I guess she's in junior high school, very young, but she's cute, and then she just starts dancing to the music. She says, oh, I'm coming from my ballet class, and she's like doing all these 
plies and uh, arabesque and all this stuff, so I started playing Swan Lake. The people just stopped and then, you know. But then uh, later on in that evening, I just envisioned her dancing and I had music going in my head. And so, I, and that inspires me, you know, just seeing the movement or uh -huh. such. Um, uh, we are sitting on the on the bus, you know, and and watching people go by. You 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 see things that that strike you, and make you know. make your head make music. Yeah, that's so but, neat. Yeah. So you don't have any specific muse or any specific thing that gives you the opportunity to write. It's a little bit of world living and humanity and just your experience with life. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah what. It is uh, the basis is, is uh, striving to live a, a, a good life and 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 people you know um, how we interact mm -hmm. and so when you come up here you do some teaching you're affiliated mm -hmm. with the um, string theory school of music over in East Lyme yes um, you play all over the place people you play come with, there so we will yes yeah we um, you play with Ramblin Dan Stevens. Yeah. And the Meadows Blue Brothers. Meadow Brothers. And you actually played with the Meadows Brothers and opened for the Don McLean concert a couple of summers ago. Yes. How we have a video for that. Yeah, we do. How was, <laughs> how was that? That was wonderful, Smith. Well, those guys, they're, uh, you know, um, human nature, uh, they're natural. The you boys. Know? Yeah. They're, they're good natural kids. guys. And, and they're you great know. musicians. Exactly. And so uh, I, I hear the music and I just started playing with it and they're like, oh, okay, well, you can do this anyway. <laughs> right, green, the Green River song. Yeah. You had never heard it before and we were playing out at Jonathan Edwards Winery right. and you just got up and started playing with them. I was like, you go, Raker. You just <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. I love the way that you're able to do that. And uh, let's see, Jake Kaiser, you've played with him too. Oh, yes. Our, our local friend and musician bass player, Jake Kaiser, that plays with the Weird Beards. Um, <laughs> it's really good stuff. So where, where are you going from here? Um, well, uh, I don't know. Well, you don't know? I, I, you have, well, you have some I, students you're teaching I, in D.C.? Yes. I mean, there's the practicality of making a living, of... Right. of um, um, how do you say? Having enough well, money to pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's uh, not the work. It's, it's branching out, educating, yeah. you know, what I've received. And leaving a legacy. Like, yeah. Well, if they remember you, that's nice. <laughs> sure. We will remember you. Ray Craig, okay. you're not going to be easily forgotten. <laughs> yes. Everywhere you go, I see you interacting with people and finding a common ground and it's it's not always classical music it's always music mm, let's just sure. say that yes. but there was an accordion player at the last function that we went to together do you remember that evening oh yes <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah that was a that's, nice. yeah <laughs> that's what you mean you, you you meet unique people um and yeah and, and another thought from from your own and and that's what makes the world interesting to it me. really does yeah. Ray I I so appreciate you coming and giving of yourself with your instrument to us to the world to New London stay here in New London no come and stay in New London <laughs> forever sure um, let's make New London a um, destination so that other people want to come here um, that so after after we are done talking I'm going to give you back the stage and you can take us to wherever you want to go as we as we close the show you have several CDs out why don't you give the audience where they can find you your website and sure. all the things that they can they can find you at you're on yes. YouTube and whatever whatever sure. tell our audience all those things well yeah the basics is uh, yeah I'm lucky enough to have a unique name Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond Curtis, my two grandfathers. So, my RayCurt.com. That's spelled R A Y C U R T, all one word. Yes. 
And uh, yeah, a few uh, uh, CDs. Wow, I've collected 13. Yeah. Um, you, you just, from the span of years, and then you look back and go, oh, is that what I, yes, and you've collected a mass amount of music. And the videos, um, catching, capturing performances yep. out in the streets, out in uh, performances I have uh, playing in the subway. Mm -hmm. There are some on YouTube um, of, of us playing years ago in, in classic music. Now there's Taliban. a DVD out that, that people can buy that has the Make Mama Proud. Yes, that's yeah, the Awakening Experience. Mm -hmm. That's actually the newest. Um, there's a DVD of the uh, Banner Concerts. We have a recital concert series in Tacoma Park, Maryland, and we tape them. So there's like Dvorak uh, sonatas. Uh, Oh, the Chevalier de Saint George, the Black Mozart video. Oh, that's a yeah. great DVD. It's a concert that I uh, performed in Berlin mm -hmm. in period costumes of the uh, classic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's a good one. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh no, it's good, and it teaches some history. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize yeah. that there was this amazing black composer. Yes, a conductor, kind of composer, fencier. He was knighted by the queen. Right. He was a, a, he had a regiment in the French army. This guy was, yeah. And uh, he, he left some incredible music behind when yes, he played. Yes, which, yeah, which uh, the virtuosos, you know, are still studying, you know. Yeah, it's amazing. and you've got it. Chevalier got de Saint-Georges. Yeah. Yep, so that's on DVD, and you can get that all at www dot ray kurt dot com that's it it's easy <laughs> www dot ray kurt dot com the fiddler plays mm. on he he does have many many cds um at least 13 and uh the <laughs> latest of which is lucy goose yeah lucy goose and, and now that's awesome. pop, pop Pori, which is now oh, yeah that's the newer one swing jazz sorry with, i forgot with, about that yeah collaborations with my guitar buddies Yep, and, that's yeah. a jazz one, and you, that gets played on Lenny Van, the jazz band show on yeah. WCNI. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank so you do you have man. something to play for us to take us out? Sure. Well, absolutely. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Ray Kirk Johnson, a.k.a. De Fiddler from Washington, D.C. If you just unhook that, you can lay it over the chair. So, yeah, thank you all for being here. While he's hooking up, let me just tell you a couple of really quick things. Um, the Hygienic Salon um, de Independence starts on January 25th. Hanging begins at 8 a.m. If you want to get a piece of art into this um, show, you need to get there and get your art if you want a good place to hang your art. This, the hanging starts at 8 a.m. and will go right straight through till 6 p.m. And the opening will be soon after that. They really don't close the doors. They hang the last piece. They said, that's it. We're not taking any more. And everybody's welcome. There's no judge, no jury, no um, fee. And um, if you really want more information on that, you can email hygienicart at gmail.com. That's coming up on the 25th of January. It's the biggest art show in the area. A lot of things happen besides the art show. There's the, um, the photogenic, which is you take pictures of a subject, whatever, whatever. Go to hygienicart.com uh, at Gmail and ask questions, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in.
Thank you.